to pull the hood off because I need to pick the car up higher than um, higher than the ceiling will allow me to. I don't want to break this hood. Let me show you my nifty lifting mechanism here. So I have this here chain, and under the end links, I welded this uh, 3 8 um, round bar, and this goes in here like that. There, and it locks in there like that. Same thing here. And now I'll use my cherry picker to pick the car up pretty dang high. And then I'll push the engine underneath. Well, first I need to take the dolly, the wheel dolly that I bolt that I built and bolted in here so I can move it around. I take that off first. And then once I remove that, then I can uh, slide the K member underneath and I'll lower the car over, over the K member. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now. dealing with my arch nemesis expansion joints in my garage floor that are damn near three quarters of an inch wide it seems like in this region of the country they haven't quite figured out how to cut control joints in and, and, and they have to tool them in with a with a joint cutter, you know. Back back east, back in Michigan where I'm from, they pour the entire slab, and then they seal the slab as soon as it's, you know, hard enough to walk on without leaving a mark. And then they come back the next morning with a big saw and they cut an eighth inch wide kerf expansion joint, an eighth of an inch wide and a certain percentage of the depth of the pa of the slab. They cut the joints in 
And if they fill up with dirt, no big deal. But your shoe doesn't get stuck in them. I hate these things. Just a pain in the ass. All right, it's as easy as that. Uh, now I gotta just line up the pins and uh, four of these bolts. Um, I'm missing two. So I may have to uh, go on a foraging mission in the trailer to see if I still have them. And if I don't, I'm gonna to try to find them online. But at least I can get this thing uh, kind of in place where it needs to be and get the cross member, transmission cross member in. And then I'll uh, hook up the, the upper ball joint. Looks like that boot's fine. Hook up the upper ball joint, put the steering gear back in. And then uh, mount the steering wheel, the steering column, and at least I'll be able to steer it. That's how you put an engine in an early model A body Mopar. You, you put the engine on the floor and you drop the car on the engine. So I'm gonna get this wrapped up and uh, then go take a shower, do some grocery shopping. And in the next installment, I'm probably gonna start finishing up. Well, in the next installment, I'll, I'll uh, start finishing up this body work and getting it ready for primer. If you like this video, smash the like button and share it with your vast social media network. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing. And if you do, please click the little bell icon. That way, YouTube will let you know the next time I upload a video. Uh, if you'd like to support uh, this and the other projects that I'm working on financially, there's a few ways you can do that. You can do that directly through the PayPal link that's in the description. Or if you buy stuff on Amazon, uh, check the description for some of the stuff you might see in these videos and the stuff they use to make the videos. And if none of that stuff interests you, just go through one of those links to buy whatever it is you do want. The channel earns a little bit of commission that way. Uh, and if you want to support this channel financially on a monthly basis, 
um, there's Patreon. Check those links out, see if that's anything that you're willing to do. And if you can, thank you in advance. And if you can't afford to do that, I completely understand. It probably means we're related. Probably the best thing you can do for this channel is just to click this the thumbs up button. Go ahead, I'll wait. Thank you. So until next time, you have fun, stay safe, you straight, keep powder dry, and have a splendid day. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.